Good morning, everyone. We are out here at 2225 Las Vegas Trail today in Navarre, Florida. This is 32566. And I'm standing out here. You can see we've got a gorgeous horseshoe driveway out in the front. And this home is actually on almost a half an acre of land. So not only do you have such a large and spacious backyard, but it also backs up to about 80 acres of a green belt. So you really just get the all-inclusive privacy here. So today I'm going to show you guys three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and just over 1,500 square feet. So before we go inside, I definitely did want to show you all this beautiful partial wraparound porch here so stunning and especially on a day like this you can see there's not a cloud in the sky and you can sit out here and just enjoy these cooler temperatures now that it's not super hot in florida all right so coming inside here we are greeted by the living room so this entire house has so many windows so it really just opens up the area and allows so much beautiful natural light in. But here we are, you can see we do have a fireplace here, enough room for a large TV. And this home is actually being sold fully furnished as well, so all the furnishings will convey. And then just to the right here, we do have a formal dining area, so you can keep this the same or you could turn this into an office or a playroom if you have kids or grandkids or niece nephews um, and it will wrap around so this bottom area is a full circle so just off of the dining area we do have our little half bath here so you do have a bathroom on the first floor lovely tan lighting up at the top and then the hardware is just so nice, it accents perfectly. And then this is going to be a pantry here. So it does go underneath the stairs. So you do have some nice storage here. There we go. Decently sized pantry. And then here we are in the kitchen. So you can see the detailed backsplash. You do have that black accented faucet with the undermount sink, quartz countertops, double door fridge and freezer with the water dispenser and ice maker, and then the pull drawer for your freezer. It is going to be a smooth top electric stove and oven, and then there is your built-in microwave as well. One more look. You do get a view of the backyard, which I will show you guys momentarily. And then you also have a side entry and exit way that comes into the laundry room, which can be enclosed. So I do love this. It's great if you have pets or animals or if it's a rainy day, come to the side. You can take off, you know, muddy shoes or things like that in the laundry room and not have to track through the house. So just off the kitchen, we do have this cute little seating area. They currently were using it as like a little coffee bar lounge, but you could absolutely, again, turn this into an office or extend the kitchen out. I mean, the possibilities are endless there, which I kind of like. Or you could even potentially take that partition out and just make that a larger living quarters. But anyways, so before we go upstairs, I do want to take you guys out to the backyard. Because like I said, you are on almost a half an acre of land. I do believe it's 0.47. But I want to show you this beautiful screen enclosed porch here. So nice. As you can see, you can definitely fit a sectional out here. You could put a couple more lounging chairs. And as mentioned, it is completely screened in. And then coming outside, you do get the yard building that's here. Obviously, the gazebo will stay. That is an extra large fire pit in the back here. You could vamp this up with some seating. 
a little bit more concrete pavers. But yes, the room out here is just phenomenal. And like I said, this back portion here that we're looking at currently um, is about an 80 acre green belt. So um, you just are enclosed with privacy, which I absolutely love. Beautiful. All right, let's take you guys back inside and I'll show you the bedroom. So as you can tell from the tour, all of the bedrooms are gonna be upstairs. Um, and I know some people may be worried about uh, privacy for the primary suite, but there is a unique feature that actually does give you some decent privacy upstairs in the primary. So let's go ahead and take you guys up. Come back through the living room. Okay. So the stairs are carpeted coming up, but everything else is gonna be LVP throughout the house. So you do get that seamless touch. So here we are at the top of the landing. I am panning to my left because there will be our first and second bedroom, which will be split by this full bathroom. And then to our right, this is gonna be the primary quarter. So coming through this door, you're actually walking directly into the bathroom. I love the little gold accent here with the double vanity. You still get that gorgeous quartz countertop and those can lights. And then in here, you are going to have a walk-in closet. So you can see you've got the wood shelving, um, and then you also get the wire racks as well. So, uh, I think that's shoe storage, but any, either way, very large closet. And that's going to be split with your tub and shower duo here. It is going to be half tiled, as you can tell. And then your commode is gonna be here as well. And that tub is jetted, so I don't know if you can see that. That is a jetted tub. So you still get that lap of luxury, which I enjoy. And all of these are gonna be, uh, they are able to be enclosed. So you can see we're closing the door here. I do wanna note those under sink. That's so pretty, I love the blue. Anyways, um, and you can close off the closet and the water closet as well. And then here we are with your primary bedroom. So again, with the windows throughout, so beautiful. You do get the little nook detail here. So bay windows, and then you could even make a build-in if you didn't want a little sofa here. But how beautiful is that? I mean, so much natural light through here. So that's what I was kind of saying is a unique feature. The primary bedroom isn't necessarily right next door to another bedroom. It is broken up slightly with the bathroom elements, kind of putting you a little bit more in the furthest corner of the third floor. Give you guys one more look down that way. And the closet. Oh, those windows, I tell you, are just, it is a perfect day for this video because it is so beautiful up here. Anyways. All right, so continuing on, we'll touch on our final full bathroom here. This one's going to mimic a little bit more of the one, the half bath that we saw downstairs. But you actually do get a, as you can see, a tub shower duo in this one. Nice shower nozzles right there with the detachable. Great, we love it. And that is a single vanity, as you can tell, and you do have a backyard view. This is going to be our second of the three bedrooms. So a side yard, well, I guess yeah, it's a backyard. Side backyard and a backyard view. Definitely large enough to fit a queen bed. I wanna say you could almost squeeze in a king in here. Um, I think you could definitely do that. I'll show you a and that is going to be a walk-in closet there. So lovely. Let's see. There you are. So not completely walk-in, but you do have that um, wood shelving that goes from wall to wall in there. So you do get some depth on the sides. 
In our third and final bedroom, this one is currently being used as a bunk room, but absolutely could fit a king size bed in here. You do have this little closet alcove, so you could um, put a door on this if you wanted to, but I don't think it would look too, too terrible if you kept it the way it was. And then they've got that detailed lighting up at the top here. Very nice, I love the double window too. Again, just so much light through here. I think if you can get tons of windows in a space, that is really just gonna maximize and elevate the look of it all. And I do think that this home just gets so much beautiful light. But again, you guys, this is 2225 Las Vegas Trail in Navarre, Florida. This is 32566. So you are actually, even though you seem kind of off the beaten path, you are in such a beautiful location and it's actually extremely convenient to the schools, to the supermarkets, to shopping. So we definitely would love for you guys to come check this one out.